Hello, hello, DRock here. Welcome to the channel. This little land feature out in the Utah desert has quite a history attached to it. Looking at it now from above, with tracks and dirt roads all over and around it, makes it seem just like another place. These days, you drive or walk right by it and not think much. However, centuries or even millennia ago, this piece of desert was a special place. So special, a culture lived and thrived here and took the time and effort to carve multiple panels of images into the cliff face and rocks all around it. Some of these images are so old, they've almost completely vanished from the rock by time and the elements. But the rock art isn't the only thing from the past that is here. I think there might have been dwellings around the area, be it a village or a seasonal camp. I just had a feeling. So there was only one way to find out for certain, I had to go and have a look. So please join me as I head out and discover what once was. Well, the rain wasn't supposed to come in till around 3 p.m., but uh, that didn't work out so well. So, I'm out here, and I'm not quite to my destination, but, I mean, everything looks really suspect out here. So, if I see something interesting, I stop and uh, I'll get out and have a look, because there might be some, some rock art that I haven't seen out here and i would like to see it if there's something so it's always good to stop and have a look because you never know what you can run into but uh hopefully the rain passes and it's just a squall and it doesn't really get bad because i'm out here far enough out in the dirt that if it, if it really dumps pours and gets saturated i run the chance of getting stuck so it is what it is but uh we'll have a good look today and see what we run into so i was looking up here and i thought uh, this probably might be a good spot for some rock art. Maybe not, but we're going to make a quick walk up here anyway and see if there's anything. Yeah, it's all this stuff. Not going to be any rock art on that. But, uh, boy, it's, it's a good area for ruins and stuff. It's all kind of like little side drainages and canyons, so... I have to really have a look at this stuff. Oh, there's a nice alcove. Yeah, not too nice. A critter skull there. <sighs> so I just spent about an hour riding around in circles on the dirt roads. I got back in the truck, I thought uh, pretty heavy squall was moving in, but uh, I think it's gonna be rain free for a few hours anyway. I could be wrong, but. So like I said, I got back in the truck and kind of got myself turned around and I believe I got myself situated now. So we're, we're back on the hoof cutting through some desert and hopefully we can wow what is that that is a massive piece of pottery right there there's some huh how about that well that's pretty cool i guess we're on the right track then huh okay this is all pottery right here grounds covered in it seeing interesting rock formations right here it might have a remnants of a ruin or something because there's pottery fragments everywhere yeah oh yeah look at this 
Look at this. Oh, we're totally on a, in a pit house. You can see how the, the rocks are stacked here. I just stumbled upon this. Look at that. It's even got the stones still sticking up. You can completely see how this was done here. That's uh, pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to, there's uh, ruins all right here. I'm just on top of them. Wow. That's pretty cool. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> no wonder there was so much pottery right there. Okay, here's got something right up here. Also bullet holes, but something to notice. You can see in the rock here, there's all kinds of, I've always wondered what exactly that is. That's not natural, obviously. Um, I don't know if it's sharpening tools or marking time. I guess it's anyone's guess, but they obviously sat in here and uh, did some grinding. Well, that's a good sign. Oh yeah, we got we got a glyph right up there. All right, I've climbed up a little bit, but you can see. Oh, look at that. It's an anthropomorphic figure. And I got a couple more over here. We got a whole bunch of stuff right here. Interesting. This is old stuff right here. Very old. Interesting indeed. All right, we're about to get in front of a massive panel. It's uh, quite spectacular. So there's a whole lot going on here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over it slowly, take my time and uh, record it cause it's, it's absolutely incredible. So check this out. Now there's some really, really old stuff that's barely legible up here. And you can see it right there. 
and to the right is that giant panel there but I'm looking here and then just beside that it's just so far up I can't really get a good angle on it is this here incredible and then there's some just down right here but I barely notice these and it's a pair of footprints right here Let me just back out a little bit. There you go. You can see one right here, part of my finger, right there. And then there's another one that goes right above it. It's so faded. So there's a footprint. And there's a footprint. And then there's some barely legible stuff right there. Absolutely incredible. So I was just showing this one. But we're going to move over. And there's some equally old and faded ones right here. You can barely make that figure out. And of course, this panel is just nothing short of spectacular here. So we'll just kind of slowly pan in there real quick. There is a whole lot going on. I could stare at this for a very long time. So this panel here really, really gets me thinking almost more so than the, the really big panel just to the right over there. But these impact craters here are from bullets. So someone shot at this. And at, that's actually pretty common out here to find bullet holes uh, in petrol panels. But um, just uh, incredible here, you know, because there's not much going on here, what is here probably means something very important. And I like how they, how this is like gone into the crack here. Maybe the crack wasn't there. Maybe the crack was there. I don't know. But regardless, this whole collection of glyphs, they're really old. There's some that are so old, they're almost completely faded away and disintegrated. So obviously I think art was put on top of art in various stages, but uh, there's some different styles here and it's really gets your mind going. What it's minimalist panel what does this mean here you know so i'll give you an example of uh, vandalism so as you can see there's some glyphs here they've obviously been shot at with a shotgun i don't know why people do that i just it doesn't make sense to me the more i try and wrap my brain around why people come out and vandalize pieces of history like this the more insane it just seems to me i just i just can't understand it the thinking behind it but vandalism aside um these symbols here are pretty common in the area anthropomorphic wise but uh it's a shame that uh, it has to be vandalized and that um you know there's modern graffiti scratched in so looks like we got 1973 over here um it is what it is i got Graffiti here. Oh, uh, what does that say? It's 1930. The name Black. I can't make out the first name. But uh, there's there's some old uh, pioneer graffiti written in um, axle grease around the corner a bit. Looks like from the late 19th century, you know, the 1870s, 1880s, something like that. But I'll, I'll pick it up when I walk back around. But people have been in this area uh for quite some time thousands of years probably and uh yeah and you can see another image way up there that's almost faded into oblivion right there the camera's kind of picking it out so there's some on this boulder here down below but as you can see the weather's eating these out i mean wind and sand and elements over a millennia and it's just Slowly in a way, but this whole boulder here was probably covered uh, to some extent. Maybe, maybe not, but, and then it's just completely disintegrated. Very, very impressive. So I'm going to actually get on top and just walk the top around. See if I see anything like a pit house. There's probably one up there. I definitely passed some type of ruin on my way out here. So that was, that was a good way to start the day. But, uh, yeah, it just... You're just left in awe out here, you know? It's just 
it's incredible to think about. Anyway, let's get moving. On top, there's gotta be something up here. So I'm immediately seeing suspect rocks and I've got pottery fragments around as well. I'm feeling that we, we may run into a pit house. Well, I got a depression here with uh, flat rocks placed in. So I think this is this is probably a ruin right here. You gotta remember, it's, it's been covered up over a long time, but you can see there's rocks stacked right here and placed. So this is probably, and I mean, it's just, you got flat rock here. Everything's lined up. Yeah, this is probably a pit house here. There's pottery fragments everywhere here. They're just, there's pottery everywhere. So these are ruins up here like this. Here's another pit right here. There might've been just a whole village up here. There's, look at the ground is absolutely, this is all pottery right here. It's everywhere. You got the corrugated stuff. There's just, there's, there's pottery everywhere. So the whole, top of this thing was probably like a some type of small village or something it's a trip Oh, made it back to the truck just as the rain is coming back in. Perfect timing. There you have it, folks. Fantastic rock art. Found some ruins today. Just all kinds of cool stuff out here. I just can't get enough. Love it. Folks, thank you very much for watching. Lots more content on the way. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps us out tremendously. It's free. We'll see you next time. D-Rock out. Adios.